G'day, this is Captain Noob, but this is the Alien Shock Baton, yet another alien weapon from that Creation Club thing that I showed off weeks ago. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually looked at one of these weapons, but I'll just do a short one on the Shock Baton because honestly, there's not a whole lot going on here. So as compared to a Stun Baton, which is just in the vanilla game, this thing doing 163 and 90 Ballistic and Energy respectively, you can see that we get a little bit less of the energy damage out of this, but we haven't actually upgraded that yet. So going to a heavy head will give us a mace looking thing which actually looks kind of cool that'll give us 237 and 63 ballistic and energy damage respectively which is okay we can gain the ability to stun and a little bit more energy damage at the cost of some ballistic damage with the stun head there I feel like that is going to be what we want I do like how these things look like maces though it's weird how um, alien weapons are so futuristic and primitive at the same time you can change the hilt to a comfort hilt which reduces action points so using this thing in vats is probably what we're going to want to do seeing as it doesn't do a whole lot of damage legendary effect is there if you need it we'll get rid of this because we won't be using it let's see how this thing does okay here we are in gunners plaza shock baton in hand and as you can tell it uses the same baton animations which involves uh, pushing it by touching the shock bit so i feel like that's kind of hazardous to your health maybe there's some sort of off switch that you press before putting it in but anyways looking at this thing in third person yep this is about the size you'd think it is it's more like a mace to be honest but that's kind of cool and uh, you will notice that this thing is also covered in glow maps, which would be more noticeable in the dark. So that adds to its nice, unique sort of alien feel. And the way we're going to play this is just with stealth. We got a 12 times sneak attack crit multiplier, and we've got that um, blitz, sorry, that we use in bats to just teleport next to enemies and hit them without them detecting us. Melee characters are especially sneaky because it doesn't make any noise whatsoever when you hit them, well at least in terms of uh, other, uh, how NPCs perceive you, but if it wouldn't make any noise for the player they'd just be confusing now, wouldn't it? What? So we're just going to drop in, do a little bit of an Obi-Wan Kenobi on that General Grievous, and we'll go ahead and just uh, blitz everyone in here. Okay, so without the sneak attack criticals we can see this thing doesn't do quite a lot of damage. As soon as we're out of this VATS run, we'll go ahead and target that turret and VATS. And now we can fight in third person. Now I've got some pneumatic armor bits, so we should be okay not to get staggered. And we don't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage. We are playing on very hard difficulty. And there's a nice little um, paralyze there. Nice stun. It happened on a critical strike, but doesn't look like it happens on critical strike. So it's not like um, the Iron Fist perk. But still, it was nice to get it, so looking at sort of a mid-tier sort of melee weapon here, nothing really beats a Ripper or a Super Sledge in melee. Same thing goes for Fallout 76, although I don't see people running around with Rippers. Maybe they're not, maybe they're not as good in that game. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is just blitz all of these turrets. See if we can't get mm, any gunners. Looks like that commander is the only one. So we'll go ahead and just teleport around, killing absolutely everybody. And now we're in danger, which is a little bit unfortunate. And that turret's going to upset some physics objects by shooting its explosives in the wall. I totally missed that guy. Well, with the use of Blitz, we can get a little bit more damage just by hitting them. Don't really need a critical, but I'm going to chuck one on anyway. So not really impressed with this damage now, although they are tanky enemies, but we're in a little bit of a problem. Also, that person blocked and then got paralyzed. Excellent. You can go out of here now. You dropped three legendary things on you. Good on you. Alright, so now what we'll have to do is use blat Blitz and Vats. I'm going to call it Blats. And uh, hit Captain Bridget until she's paralyzed. Hit, get her with as many crits as possible. And we actually got a secondary little... Um, hit on her, that that other gun, ah, oh, I think I killed her, but that's okay. Um, since that turret isn't shooting at me right now, I can freely batter on Captain Bridget until she's dead. This is probably one of her more painful demises. Oh, I, I killed it. I must have hit it with, um, that, uh, what's that perk called? Weird. Where the enemy bounces off you and back into him. I, I forgot that name. Damn, my Fallout 4 knowledge is fading by the minute. Been playing too much 76. But what I do know is this thing is okay. It's not great. Unfortunately, we've got one more weapon to test from this. 
and that does come in the form of the flagship of the whole creation club pack is the alien rifle which looks to be more interesting than this we'll quickly dispatch of the rest of these gunners we're back into caution unfortunately they're a little bit more perceptive than they are in fallout 76 so we'll just go ahead and hit her with a little bit of extra bat damage from blitz Oh, I hit her in a very sensitive spot. That's a very painful death for that gunner. Okay, almost done. Just gonna try to... Hey, we broke her legs. Well, that's useful because... Oh wait, she got back up. She got better. She rose from the dead, like the courier, except instead of... Oh wait, no, she's just decided not to sit down having broken legs. She tried to run for it, but she didn't, didn't really work for her. All right, so we'll just go ahead and tank some bullets. Close in here and kill both of those turrets. So, an okay performance by the alien uh, shock baton, but yeah, it's not great. Even for melee characters, you can definitely do better. But that's sort of par for the course so far. These alien weapons haven't been the most powerful things in the world, so sure, I'm willing to accept that. Okay, let's see if we can't kill Swan with gratuitous sneak attack critteries with a alien weapon. Now all we need to do is just stay out of his line of sight. In fact, he's friendly to us, so he's going to allow us get the first punch in today. He's being a good sport because he saw how we went against those gunners before and he wasn't really impressed with it either. See, when Swan gets killed by a weapon, he really wants it to be good. Now I doubt we'll be able to um, stun him at all, but we have seemed to be able to stagger him, which is interesting. He's at half health, a little bit less, and still in caution. Still in caution. Alright, now the game's on. I'll just go ahead and just hit him once more whilst we get our VATS protection to us. And then we'll run away and let our AP regen because going near him with a melee weapon and trying to kill him like that is a death sentence. Already slipping out of danger back into caution now. And if we use our third person camera to sort of peer out the distance, there he is. If he's in range, we'll go ahead and hit him for the rest of his health, hopefully. There we go, more sneak attack crits. Another critical, we'll probably set him off. Yep, he is down to 6,100 damage there, so we did alright. So, using this thing against really strong enemies, you're definitely going to want to add some sneak into your game, because this thing really doesn't have the damage to really hit and kill things that are... You know, have, are spotting you and actively trying to kill you. But I think I'm going to leave things there. There's not a lot else I can really show of this weapon. So, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, it's behind a paywall from that uh, alien thing from the Creation Club. It's there if you want it. There might be a saving on it someday. But for weapons, I think this is definitely the low point of this Creation Club item. Because there's not a lot of customization to it. It's pretty much just a reskin baton, which... Despite having cool sounds when you swipe it, it doesn't really feel any different, so... Yeah, if you're a melee player and looking to get this pack to enhance your game, there's better stuff in the vanilla game already. But there's lots of stuff for Rifleman and also Gunslinger too, so a little bit of versatility there. But all in all, this weapon is not great. Thank you for watching, guys.